or high. Klaipeda, the third largest city of Lithuania after the capitals of Vilnius and Konesis. It is located in her western part where the Baltic Sea passes into the Kironian Bay. Administrative center of the Klaipeda County. The first in goods turnover port of the Baltic states. It is one of the largest non-freezing seaports on coast of the Baltic Sea and the Kironian Bay. Klaipeda and the region adjoining to him have history, special, other than other Lithuania. Data of archaeological researches demonstrate that it was populated in the first centuries of our era. Till 1525 Memel belonged to Knights of the Teutonic Order. Till 1923 Germany that affected architectural appearance of this of the Baltic Pearl. Owing to the history, the ethnic and language image of the city had and has multinational character. Besides Lithuanians, a significant amount of Russians lives in them. Along with the historical name, also officially is called Tudena, and the cities Ekmen are higher. The city is divided by the river Dang into two parts, the left bank Old City and the right bank Modern City Center. At the moment the square of Klaipeda makes 98 km. Klaipeda repeatedly changed the name. The fortress based by the German knights in the territory of ancient Kirshi carried the name Memel, by the Skolovsky name of Neiman which was adopted also by Germans. The Zimatia tribes living near Kirshi settlements called the area Klaipeda. Now the ancient settlement of this lock makes the historic center of the city. The Lithuanian state renamed them into Klaipeda, the city bore this name in 1923-1939. After annexation by Hitlerite Germany the city turned into Memel, 1939-1945. Again. Lithuanian Klaipeda, in the first written sources written down as Kalapid, Klapid, Klopid, Klupid, it was regularly used for designation of the surrounding region already since the beginning of the 15th century. It is for the first time mentioned in 1413. The local toponymics reflects first of all Kursi, Zimati and Kursenievsky names, Melnerich, Stara Kursky or Kursenievsky, the Black Horn slash the Black Cape, Jerulia with Lithuanian forest, smelt with Lithuanian. And with Latvian. Smiltis. Sandy. So the ancient name Kalapi presumably has Kursi or Zimati origin. As in the Zimati dialects is quite significant Kirshi substrate, definite answer to give quite difficult. The German authors of local maps, as a rule, didn't rename and teutonized local names. For example, Pajjan, Pilsatan, Akmanishken in whom ancient Kirshi and Lithuanian names are obvious. Ancient Lithuanians used the name Memel for the description of boggy sections of the lower Neiman current. In the ancient document describing the first campaign of the Teutonic Order to Pagan Lands, it is specified that the group long time went on the right river bank of Memel, intending to leave to Hermaf. Without having accurate maps, they didn't know that Neiman flows into the Kironian Bay. See the card. Continuing a campaign already on the right coast of the Gulf, they left to the place of his confluence with the sea still thinking that before them and there is a mouth of Neiman. Respectively, the base fortress was called Memelbrook. The late name was even mentioned in the national anthem of Germany. As the most east city of the German lands. Von der Maas bis und die Memel.
In 1252 Knights of the Livonian Award constructed the wooden Memelberg block and then put 1252-1253 City The first document describes laying of the lock on July 29, 1252 with the master of the Livonian Award Eberhard von Sein and the bishop of the same award Heinrich von Kurland Heinrich Kurlianski the county background leads Albert from Luxembourg. By 1258. On separate sources, minus 1254. When Memel acquired the Lubecki Wright, initial wooden already stone fortress, and near her, the trade settlement founded by merchants, mainly Dortmund, stood still. In 1384, the Teutonic Order was annexed by Memel. The city was a strong point in military operations of the German Knights against the Lithuanian tribes and repeatedly collapsed. 1323, 1379, etc. As a result of the Melnski world of 1422 memo remained for Crusaders. From 1525 to 1618 memo belonged to the Prussian Duchy, since 1618, Brandenburg, Prussia, in 1629, 1635, Sweden, since 1701, again to the Prussian Kingdom. During seven years' war the city was besieged, taken by the Russian troops and the fleet in June, 1757 and included in structure of the Russian Empire. 1757-1762 after conclusion of peace with Prussia in 1762, the city was returned to the Prussian Kingdom. In 1807-1808, during Napoleonic occupation of Prussia, Memel was the capital of the Prussian Kingdom. Under the German power, Memel was the important trade port competing with Königsberg and Danzig. In the middle of the 17th century, the city was powerfully strengthened. By the beginning of the 18th century, Mimelsky Fortress became one of the largest in Prussia. Nemel was the most northern city of the German Empire proclaimed in 1871. In the second half of the 19th century, during the ban of printing of the Lithuanian books in Latin in the territory of the Russian Empire which was a part of Lithuania, Memo became the center of printing of books in Lithuanian Latin letters. These books were illegally imported into Russia. The city endured rapid economic growth at this time. The modern trade port was built, the industrial enterprises opened. Mainly woodworking. The shipbuilding developed, at the end of the 19th century Mimel's fleet had up to 80 vessels. England was an active foreign trade partner of Memel. In the middle of the 19th century the Mimelia port for goods turnover was the 23rd in Europe. Among all cities of the German Customs Union Memel conceded only to the Hamburg port, and in the Baltic Sea, only street. Petersburg but it is absolutely insignificant. At the same time, the port for goods turnover. 819,000 tons in 1859. Bypassed both Danzig. 732,000 tons. And Riga. 589,000 tons. Ports and Konigsberg. 219,000 tons port almost four times. In 1917 the Russian Empire, and in 1918 the German Empire broke up. On February 16, 1918 it was proclaimed the independent state of Lithuania. On June 28, 1919, after signing of the Treaty of Versailles, it agrees to 28 and 99 articles of the contract in a northern part of small Lithuania Mimeland. The Klaipeda region. 
which was separated by winners from Germany and is put under the mandate of the League of Nations, was educated. The Treaty of Versailles also included the international recognition of Lithuania. Georges Clemenceau, presiding over the Parisian Peace Conference, so commented on need for formation of the Klaipeda region and his separation from Germany. This edge always was Lithuanian, and most of its inhabitants by origin and two language, Lithuanians. The Klaipeda port, the only exit of Lithuania in the sea. In 1920 the Mimelski region, according to the Varsales Peace Treaty, was transferred under collective management of the countries of the Intente. Into Memel entered the French garrison from 200 soldiers, and the current issues were resolved by local government, directory, consisting generally of Germans. Actually, then for the first time in modern history, the key role of Mimelski city self-government in the fate of the city and adjacent region was designated. On November 11, 1921, the constituent Simas of Lithuania approved the plan of accession of Klaipeda to Lithuania as autonomy. The mandated territory received temporary French administration until the status of Lithuania is recognized de jure. But on December 22, 1922, France recognized Lithuania de jure. The French didn't hurry to give the region Lithuania and inclined to his transformation into the independent republic. Both Germans of age in Germany and Lithuanians protested against the independent status of the territory. Representatives of low Lithuanians in aspiration to carry out the program of the Tilsit Act of Reunion of Small Lithuania and Lithuania tried to influence decisions of the Intente. For this purpose on October 3, 4, 1922 on a conference of the Intente in Paris the delegation of National Council of Small Lithuania left. Members of this council are Edmonas Simonates. Vilius Gagalatis, Adomas Brakus, Jakubus Sticlerius, Junas Labrances, Martinus Reisis demanded that the Intente would refuse the idea of the so-called free city, but the conference after the long debate didn't reach a consensus, satisfactory for the Lithuanian side. Members of National Council of Small Lithuania Low Lithuanians Erdmonas Simonates, Jakubus Sticlerius, Jurgis Bruvalatis, Martinus Jankus, Junas Vanagatis and Vilius Sholinskas put forward the idea of a revolt against the French administration. Urgis Bruvalatis, Jakubis Deplirius and Erdmonas Simonates addressed the chairman of the militarized organization of shooters Vinces Kreev who organized secret negotiations of interested parties with the Prime Minister of Lithuania Ernestis Gavanaskas. Preparation for a revolt was conducted in Kaunas and Klaipeda. On December 18, 1922, members of National Council of Small Lithuania secretly met in Klaipeda and organized Committee on Liberating of Small Lithuania, into which Low Lithuanians Martinas Jankas, Jurgis Strakis, Jurgis Labatas, Junas Vanagatis, Vilius Sholinskis, Jurgis Bruvalatis entered. In the region, 12 local offices of committee are founded. In Shaluta, Pajajai, Katachie, Laksarjie, Plashkie, Ruke, Priakio, Rasne, Kinte, Smalininke, Sogos, Davale. By the beginning of 1923, tension between France and Germany was fueled. France began preparation for Mamel's transformation into the free city by an example of Danzig. Without wishing to be reconciled with it, the Lithuanian authorities inspired on January 10, 1923, revolt. To Memel from Lithuania, one and a half thousand Lithuanian rebels. Disguised police officers, soldiers of regular army and members of the militarized organization of Shaulis were directed. A Sagittarius. 
Besides, to memo moved forward several columns of 300 local volunteers. The major of the Lithuanian counterintelligence Junas Budrasel ordered operation. Lithuanians were resisted by 200 French Alpine shooters. The German police resistance weren't shown. Fights for the city were going five days, and during storm 12 Lithuanians, two French and one German police officer died. France sent a military squadron to Memel. Great Britain also sent a cruiser, Kielden, to Memel. The negotiations with the Lithuanian insurgents which began on January 25 didn't make success. The insurgent committee refused to transfer the city to the French, and the Gaunt ashore patrols were fired and returned on the ships. Then the French command developed the plan of the armed Mimels taking supported by the British. On February 2 the British cruiser put ashore landing party for interaction with the French infantry battalion making Mamelia garrison. At the same time to Lithuania the ultimatum with the requirement of return of the Mamelsky region to hands of the High Commissioner of the Intente was put forward. At the same time the Intente promised that in case of adoption of the ultimatum the Mamelsky region will be then is transferred to Lithuania. Lithuania accepted the ultimatum then on February 16 Council of Ambassadors of the Intente made the decision to transfer the Mamelsky region Lithuania. This decision was stipulated by a condition of implementation of the following requirements by Lithuania. Autonomy of edge. Freedom of transit and use of the Mamelsky port Poland. Development of the status of the territory and conclusion of the special convention. Equality in the region of the Lithuanian and German languages. The equation in the commercial rights and autonomy of foreigners with the Lithuanian citizens. Besides, at the informal level it was emphasized that the Mamelia broadcast to Lithuania is some kind of compensation for a loss of the Vilensky region. These conditions were enshrined in the convention signed on January 8, 1924 between Lithuania and Allied powers. England, France, Italy and Japan. To which the Mimelsky statute, which was her integral part, was attached. Then in 1924, also the actual Mimelia broadcast under sovereignty of Lithuania took place. Before it coped the directory appointed by Council of Ambassadors. According to the International Treaty of January 28, 1928 on state borders, Germany once again recognized the Klaipeda region as a part of Lithuania. After the Memelanda broadcast to Lithuania the city of Memel was renamed into Klaipeda. Lithuania pursued planting policy in the field of Lithuania Nado, according to a census on January 20, 1925, from 141,645 inhabitants who had the right to vote. 41.88% carried themselves to Germans, 37626. 26.56%. Two Lithuanians and 34337. 24. 24% to Memelender. Though well, someone had Lithuanian, but which considered themselves the separate ethnographic group of Lithuanians a little other than Lithuanians of Big Lithuania native language. In 1926 in Lithuania there was a military coup which headed it the party leader of Tartanenak. From the Lithuanian Tolta, the people. And Tanis Mitona set authoritarian regime. 
after the revolution, in December 1926 in the area martial law was imposed, the German parties were banned and the local parliament is dismissed that was gross violation of the Mimelsky statute. Upon the demand of the League of Nations, the Lithuanian authorities were forced to appoint in the Mimelsky region new elections which gave the majority to the German parties. 25 mandates from 29. However, in 1932, the elected German authorities of Memel were arrested. The address powers turned out to be consequence, guarantors of the Mimelsky Convention in the International Trial Chamber of the League of Nations, which demanded from Lithuania to restore the rights of Mimelsky Parliament. In November 1938, in Memel, martial law was repealed. Klaipeda, which was in structure of Lithuania, remained large trade port. Through the Klaipeda port was carried out up to 80% of the Lithuanian foreign trade. On December 12, 1938, in Klaipeda elections in, took place. City self-government. A lot of things therefore on the eve of elections information on a situation in the city laid down on a table to both Hitler and Stalin depended on their outcome. As a result of 87% of votes it was given for the uniform list of the German parties. March 22, 1939 Germany delivered to Lithuania the ultimatum with the requirement to return the Klaipeda region which Lithuania was forced to accept. Next day by the cruiser Deutschland accompanied by 40 warships to Klaipeda there came Adolf Hitler. He delivered a speech to inhabitants from a balcony of city dramatic theater and reviewed the military troops. After accession of the Klaipeda region to Germany, the city was renamed into Memel again. On March 24, 1939, the Reich's Chancellor Adolf Hitler arrived in the city where said that the Memel port will become base of the German fleet and sea fortress. In April, in the city construction of military airfield, long-term strengthenings and underground storage of fuel began. During the Great Patriotic War, Memel and Konigsberg became the first objects of bombing of the Soviet aircraft according to Directive No. 2 signed by Tymoshenko, Shukov and Malenkov at 7.15 in the morning on June 22, 1941 that is 3 hours 15 minutes later after attack of Germany on CCC. During World War II, Memel Klaipeda was turned by Germans into the center of the powerful defensive area around the city built four lines of strengthenings. In October 1944, when carrying out Memelski offensive operation, the Soviet troops blocked Memel from the land. In the city about two months, three German divisions held the fort. During Memel's storm, among the troops storming the city, the 16th Lithuanian Rifle Division acted. On January 28, 1945, the city was exempted from the German invaders. During blockade and storm, the city was strongly destroyed. At evacuation, the German troops blew up industrial facilities and bridges, about 60% of buildings among which there were many architectural values were damaged. At the end of January in the city there arrived Antanas Snetkes. In August 1945 the Berlin Potsdam Conference of Three Great Powers approved transfer of a northern half of East Prussia to the Soviet Union. The Mimelsky region was de facto transferred to structure of the Usser. The city received the Lithuanian name Klaipeda again. For July 1, 
1945 according to data of the Lithuanian researchers based on the report of the Acting National Commissioner of Municipal Services of Elsa Astafaya, housing stock of the city consisted of absolutely destroyed houses minus 1205. 37% of a pre-war living space. With extent of destruction of buildings to 25% demanding maintenance minus 590. 19% With extent of destruction of buildings over 25% minus 1424 43% In April 1948 the law on administrative territorial division of the Republic of Lithuania in which the Clay Pedder region of the Lithuanian Sir was created was adopted. The decree of the Supreme Council of the Usser of January 28, 1948 All residents of Clay Pedder the Lithuanian nationality who were the Lithuanian citizens till March 22, 1939 obtained the Soviet citizenship. Germans from Clay Pedder could petition for inclusion in citizenship of the Usser in an individual order. On July 20, 1950 in the Lithuanian Sir former administrative division was replaced with counties, Volists and Anapolinka. Appealing politis, that is, district, an administrative and territorial unit is less than the area with own self-government, the remote analog of the village council. With the Soviet division into areas, areas and Anapolinka. Originally there were four areas. Vilnius, Connors, Claypet and Sialie and 87 areas besides 71 cities and 9 urban type settlements were allocated the industry of Claypet in particular her port was restored and reconstructed in 1987 the international ferry Claypet Makran was constructed in the Soviet years, the city was built up by standard master plans. In 1991, the Klaipeda University is founded. It is located on the coast of the Baltic Sea and 307 came to the northwest from Vilnius. The cities are connected by highway A passing through Kaunas, from which to Klaipeda 216 came. Climate here soft sea. It is caused by proximity of the sea. The climate of Klaipeda is close to climate of northern Germany and the southern Scandinavia, and is characterized by strong changeability of weather in the rainy, cool summer and in quite warm, foggy winter. And Klaipeda very strong wind which quite often causes storm, sandstorms and brings considerable damage to economy. The instability of weather sometimes gives surprising surprises, for example, in February trees can blossom and turn green a grass. It is, of course, a rarity, but this fact introduces the amendments in formation of ideas of local climate. The maximum and minimum registered values of temperature, plus 36.6 C and 33 C respectively. Average annual temperature, plus 7.8 C. Average annual speed of wind, minus 4. 5 M slash S. Average annual humidity of air, minus 81%. The structure of the population of Klaipeda in many respects reflected and reflects the rough history of this city, in particular his transition from hand to hand during the European conflicts, migrations, economic and cultural contacts of the different countries and regions. His memo was founded in 1252 in places of compact accommodation of Lithuanians. The tribe of Asia Meta.
and partly Lichranizaravani in the 13th century southern Kirshi and Skalv, in close proximity to actually Lithuanian state, unlike related Prus Lithuanians of small Lithuania in the district weren't completely assimilated though their share in the 19th century gradually decreased because of powerful Germanization. In the Middle Ages the city was generally inhabited by Lithuanians. So, in 1258 in the city there were two paraphia, one temple, after Johann, served the few arrived colonists, the German citizens, and another, St. Nicholas, served Lithuanians of vicinities of the Loch. In the privilege of the city of 1365 it is said that citizens are allowed to fish from the Lithuanian side. That is from the city and the continent as Kironian spit was called the Karsi party. The first German colonists arrived in Memel from Galstein, Westphalia, Dortmund, Lübeck. The number there long time remained insignificant. So for the beginning of the 16th century, within the city only 25 families of colonists about 100, 150 people lived. In books of taxes of 15, 40, 90 estates of citizens appear. The number was a little bigger as employees were dismissed from taxes. At the same time in suburbs 143 families paying taxes are registered. Two other nationalities Lithuanians, Scots, Mimels, Jews. The city magistrate in the Middle Ages didn't grant the rights of citizens, and these ethnic groups were forced to lodge outside the lock, city walls and shaft, forming extensive suburbs. Only Germans were allowed to lodge in administrative city boundaries, and some discounts became only to duchess. So, after plague of the beginning of the 18th century in the become empty city not Lithuanians of suburban quarters or villagers of nearby villages were called, and residents of Salzburg, 158 which arrived in the city in 1732 are invited. Because of these specifics of the city throughout all his history, up to the beginning of the 20th century, Suburbs the population outnumbered the city in his administrative borders. Till the 16th century the city was located on the castle island. Only in the 16th century the old city where the Duke Albrecht Friedrich in 1571 according to the Kalmski Rite allocated the land plots under construction of new estates began to develop more actively. All territory was divided the old bed of the river into a northern part of the old city where the German merchants and handicraftsmen lodged, and more chaotic tanning quarter. Later Friedrichsit, where representatives, dirtier professions lodged. Skinners, bathhouse attendants, barbers, fishermen and representatives of ethnic groups to which it was forbidden to lodge in the old city. Lithuanians, Swedes, Scots. In the 17th century, surrounding the old city with defensive shaft, Friedrichsit remained as separated from the old city by a river sleeve. In view of the small territory of the old city, by the end of the 17th century of places for the settlement in administrative borders began not to be enough, and more and more German merchants, handicraftsmen began to lodge in Friedrichsit and to insist on accession of this suburb to the old city. But authorities in 1693 gave to the region of Skinner's privilege, an emblem, a flag and called Friedrichsit though the suburb didn't acquire the identical legal rights, without having either a town hall, or court, or a bailiff. Friedrichsit was operated by the Signor. I'll test. Submitting to decisions of Mamelia Magistrate, and lawsuits were solved in the old city. In the suburbs the number of inhabitants promptly grew, 
and he both number of inhabitants, and number of merchants and handicraftsmen already advanced the old city. In 1722 Friedrichs it was included in administrative borders of the city, and the bed of the river dividing them is filled up. Walshire Street of Water Lightest did Zaoe Vanden Street and both parts of the city completely merged. To the south of Friedrichsit there were several large estates. The Estate Schitzkut. At the end of the 19th century absorbed by cellulose factory and expanded royal smelt, in 1833 had 1103 inhabitant the estate Bernschenberg. Ajintaro Tui Palka known from lists of taxes of 1540. 35 estates. In 1833 Boyerskaya smelt 423 inhabitants and the small estate of Rampishk had the 856th inhabitant and 114 inhabitants in 1910. 237 in 1927. All these settlements to the middle of the 19th century grew together and were administratively integrated and attached to the village royal smelt. 42-49 inhabitants in 1895. And in 1918 are attached to the city. Since 1904 in royal smelt the city electric tram plied. Northern suburbs big. Oil. Vit in 1540 were inhabited by 20 families paying taxes, and small Vit 23 families. The last in the 17th century completely merged with Big Vit. The suburb gradually grew. In 1825 in Big Vita there was 321 house, and the number of inhabitants of the suburb reached 3610. In strategic sense Big Vit in the 19th century it was perceived as a part of the city as in 1812, planning also a system Shanitz, the suburb was included in the territory of strengthenings. Dialogue about inclusion of the suburb in city line was conducted throughout all first half of the 19th century, but only in 1856 Big Vit was incorporated in city boundaries, so increasing the population of the city by a third at once. If on a census of 1855 within the city 11976 people, and in the suburbs Big Vit minus 5114 lived, then after accession of the suburb to the city Mamel's population in 1856 jumped up to 17198 people. To the east from Vit there was a suburb Chromimestis. So called because of botanical features of the area. Chromimestis was inhabited by Lithuanians whom colonists didn't let in the old city. At the end of the 16th century as country lands the suburb is transferred to the city. In 1730 there were 36 estates in the suburbs. At the end of the 17th century when in the suburbs the number of inhabitants between whom the number of colonists grew up strongly grew up, the authorities made separation. Richer representatives of the German population of the quarter are moved to administrative borders of the city. To the north of Kremiumestis there was a sandy area with dunes, because of the geographical features they called Zanschol. In the territory in the 19th century mills were under construction and millers lodged. The territory in 1809 is allocated by the King Friedrich Wilhelm III to the city with the purpose to plant trees and shrubs in sand dunes. In 1814 to the east from dunes the village of Zandver is formed. We lodged 12 workers for gardening of the area. In 1823 423 persons lived in the village already. In 1850 the village is included in city line.
in the 19th century, having included on full authority suburbs Royal Tuvitya, Kramiumestis, Zancho, Zanva to the north of the River Dang in administrative borders of the city, all territory gradually began to be called the new city. Plaip had returned similar character in the last 20 years because of a powerful suburbanization when city quarters and certain new settlements are under construction behind city boundaries, at the same time they have all city infrastructure. A city water supply system, network of city bicycle tracks, city route transport. British and Scots who and throughout the most part of the 19th centuries held the main posts in 18 and began to dominate in economic, cultural, linguistic. English became the dominating language of the highest layer of citizens, and the local German dialect was sated with the English words and sayings. City lives were the first someone managed to break barriers of national discrimination. The top posts in magistrate trade in port were occupied by British and Scots, the English way of life, fashion dominated. The most luxurious mansions and palaces belonged to British and Scots about whom by the English tradition laid out gardens. The famous German traveller Gottfried Peter Reichner Krosenwall. So I described Clay Pedder which I visited in 1819. If some Russian or the German is going to go to England, he should stay some time in Memel. Here he will accustom with the English manners and customs which to any non-Englishman at first seem ugly. The residents trading it is almost exclusive with the British, so fell in love with customs of this island that imitate them at any case, sometimes even to ridicule. Speak only English, eat, drink, play according to the English customs. Even British address also roughly and unfriendly, as well as. McLena. Matri. Grafina. Plo. Ogilvy. Kula. Potter, Pitkerna, Dubby, Masona, and also others were the most famous, rich and influential families of this period Simpsona. Because of the trade which fell by the end of the 19th century with Britain this community of the city fell into decay and her many decks emigrated to Britain. In 1807, together with cancellation of the serfdom, the accepted new city right allowed to lodge in an administrative part of the city to representatives of any nationalities. On the German census of 1910, the population of the Lithuanian coast made 149,766 people, from whom 67345 people considered the native language Lithuanian. 45%. Lithuanians prevailed only in rural districts of the region and suburbs, and Germans in actually cities of edge. At the same time, according to the same census, more than 82,000 people, 55%, recognized as native German. In Klaipeda, the German population prevailed, but in suburban quarters Lithuanians dominated. In the 19th century the city turned into the large center of publishing house in Lithuanian Latin then books were transported in the illicit way to the neighboring territories of the Russian Lithuania where Latin was forbidden. The printing editions issued during this period were two types. For Big Lithuania, the issued editions on the Zematia and Suvalkaya dialects Lithuanian with the Polish spelling extended to territories of the former Grand Duchy of Lithuania and for residents of small Lithuania using the German spelling tradition. A Gothic font use
etc. The use of a capital letter in nouns, common and own nouns, letter E. And a local dialect of Lithuanian. In 1848, the first newspaper in Lithuanian. Lituvan Incapriatelis. As the annex to the German weekly, Memler Watchenblit appeared. Published since 1817. At the end of the 19th century in the city newspapers on the Lithuanian dialect of small Lithuania were issued. Lichui. Hasitanga, published in 1877-1940 with numerous more customized applications of different sense, such as Bailage Suder Lituvish Kasitanga, Kalidu Prideka, Lakininka Priatelis. 1896-1900. Lakininkas, 1929-1939. Lituvus Yukininkas, 1900. Nuyusi is viso svito, pridas lituviskos sitangos, pridajimas pre lituviskos sitangos, prideka pre lituviskos sitangos. Svantai Dinai, 1932-1939. In 1881-1939 there was a bilingual newspaper of Lutherans of Edge, Pacaya, Pennsylvania. Laws, etc. Editions. The main German newspaper of the city was Memler Dampfbut. 1849-1945. As of 1920, 140,746 inhabitants from whom Germans there were 71156 people, and Lithuanians minus 67269 lived in the Mimelski region. Really national structure of edge was the following. 41.9% Germans. 26.6% Lithuanians and 24. 2%, so-called to Memelendary Klepedina, that is the low Lithuanians considering themselves by a little separate ethnographic group from Lithuanians of so-called Big Lithuania. 7.3% were made by representatives of other nationalities. Within the city of Memelia where the population made more than 23,000 inhabitants. 23. 5,019-12. The German prevalence was overwhelming, but Lithuanians dominated in suburban quarters and satellites of the city which actually were a part of the city. Urban development of quarters, the tram message, a water supply system, etc. But administratively didn't enter him. Besides much in Kersenyek lived in suburbs. So, Franz Tesner writes that else at the beginning of the 20th century Lithuanians of suburbs Melnridge and Balmelsvite, together with Kersenieka putting out two sea two fish, communicated with them in Latvian. As it is specified in the German guides and reference books of the time, most of inhabitants of the suburb Royal Smelt were Lithuanians. 42-49 inhabitants in 1895. Within the city the number of Lithuanians began to grow in result of accession to the city of suburban quarters. In 1918 Smelty suburbs. So-called Royal Smelt and Boyerskaya Smelt. With more than 60 hundred inhabitants. 60 30 in 1910, 62 55 in 1927. Janusz's estate. The 829th inhabitant in 1910. Invite Bommel's suburb joined city boundaries. To Bommel's Vita, Vitya. 3262 inhabitants in 1885. 3378 in 1890, from them 2368 percent Lithuanians where the vast majority of inhabitants was made by Lithuanians.
So, because of administrative reforms and population shift from rural areas, the number of Lithuanians within the city constantly grew. In 1905 there were 6.4%, in 1912, 21.5%, in 1925, 30.5%. The number of Lithuanians especially jumped up in the 30s. So in 1934 from 440 newborns of clay pet 264 were children of the Lithuanian parents though the German sources of this period give much more the smaller. Underestimated. Number of Lithuanians in the city. For example, their Grossbrockhaus. Leipzig minus 11% of Lithuanians in 1932. In 1944-1945 the city was strongly destroyed during fights. According to the Lithuanian researchers, at the end of 1945 about 8,300 people, and by July 1946, already to 30,000 lived in the city. The former population of Klaipeda, Prussian Lithuanians, came back from Germany. The number of comeback made by different estimates from six to eight thousand people. In 1946-1953 in the city there arrived new waves of settlers, the Russian and Russian-speaking workers from the republics of the Ussa. First, until the end of the 1,948 years. In the city including in authorities, the Russian-speaking population prevailed that was promoted by proximity of Kaliningrad. In the early 50s Lithuanians become the prevailing group. Nevertheless the city substantially keeps the multinational character. Tlaipeda can be considered the Russian-speaking capital of Lithuania, along with the Zaginus. According to a census of 2011, Russians made 19.63% of the population of the city. In 1991-2020, it took place not only negative natural increase, but also, after admission of Lithuania in the EU, intensive migration decline in population, both to the capital of Lithuania Vilnius, and to Western Europe. Because of emigration abroad, in 2001-2020 Klaipeda lost 34,000 inhabitants. However since 2018 there was a stabilization of the population of the city. On the other hand, because of an intensive suburbanization, the population of the Klaipeda district increases from year to year, suburbs of Klaipeda promptly grow, forming new city quarters out of line of the city. Because of migration to suburbs of Klaipeda, the number of residents of the Klaipeda district grew from 45,000 in 1989 to 67,000 in 2022. This illustration of it serves desire of residents of the new cottage settlement of Slenjai. 1100 inhabitants, 270 hectares. In the Klaipeda district to join the city. The begun process of inclusion of the settlement in city line is very interesting to residents of other cottage settlements. Probably in the future another new quarters will be included in city boundaries. Upon termination of war in the mid-40s in the city several years prevailed Russians, and since the beginning of the 1950th years and until now, Lithuanians. There is a significant Slavic minority. 23.2%. In total on a population census of 2011 inhabitants of 77 nationalities lived in Klaipeda. In Soviet period, the Soviet Klaipeda newspaper was issued in the Russian and Lithuanian languages. 
Since January 3, 1990, it appears under the name Claypeda. The Russian language version was closed in 2007, is renewed in 2010 as the weekly. Besides the all-Lithuanian musical radio station, Russian Radio Baltic, there is also local radio in Russian. Rainbow. The channel Baltic One in which evening news blog plots about events of Klaipeda also regularly appear as the correspondent office here. The former deported German inhabitants of Memel and their descendants. Memelander more or less compactly live in the territory of modern Germany, support the history of the homeland on the Memelandaden. The portal. Since 1992 in Klaipeda, the municipal gymnasium of Hermann Zuderman, the only high school in Lithuania where training is conducted on Lithuanian and German works. The school is attended by more than 500 pupils. Economy Klaipeda, the most important economic center of the western part of Lithuania and the largest port on the Lithuanian coast of the Baltic Sea. Primary branches of the industry, chemical, food, fish processing, bakery, dairy, production of carbonated drinks, woodworking and furniture, packing. The shipbuilding and ship repair are developed. The important place in city economy is taken by services industry, port and logistic, tourist and many other services. In the city there are about 2,500 enterprises. The main foreign investors, from Denmark, Switzerland, Germany, Norway, the USA, India, Ukraine and Canada. In 2002 on the outskirts of the city, near Port, the Free Economic Zone. Fez. Of 412 hectares was organized within says 17 enterprises. From them 40% worked. For the end of 2010, foreign investments exceeded 400 million euros. Production of electronic devices, plastic ware and granules, architectural glass and metal designs, food packing, biodiesel fuel is arranged. The fish processing and metalworking enterprises work. Large enterprises of the food industry, the Schwitzerus Brewery operating since 1784, now belongs to Carlsberg Concern. Tlepidos Medina is distinguished from the enterprises of the woodworking industry. Furniture makes Tlepidos Baldai. In the city works the ship repair enterprises. The Western Ship Repair and Shipbuilding Plant, the Western Shipbuilding Plant, Baltic, the Clay Pedder Ship Repair Plant. In the city three large shipping companies D Dead Seaways. The old name Liska Baltic Service. The Lithuanian Sea Shipping Company and Lamarca Work. The most considerable the companies in the field of loading and unloading services, Stevedore in Glasgow, 20,000 tons of mineral fertilizers a day, same as the Bega Enterprise. Beached. Peri Crevinu Terminalis. The joint Lithuanian Belarusian venture for transportation of loose fertilizers, the leader among the port enterprises, Claypedis Myalt. Containers Roro. Ro. In Klaipeda, the oil terminal, Klaipedos Nafta, is located. In 2014, the Klaipeda terminal of liquefied natural gas constructed by Lithuania independently all for three years was open. It is the first owned terminal in the Baltic states which will provide to Lithuania power independence.
The Clayped Port is formed in 1991 by merge of certain trade and fishing ports. The area of port is 415 hectares, the area of the water area minus 623 hectares, water area depth minus 14 m. The port is equipped with moorings with a total length of 24.9 km. Some moorings are intended especially for work with container, transshipment and conventional freights. The port is capable to process to 40 million tons of freights a year. 2010, 31.2 million tons of freights. And annually services about 7,000 courts. There is a developed railway system. The total length of 69.2 km. From the Klaipeda port in German Zaznitz and Kiel, the Swedish Karlsson, the Danish Copenhagen and to Fredericia regularly go cargo ferries. The port sends regular container trains to Odessa and Moscow. Containers, oil products, fertilizers, peat, timber, food go mainly. In 1999 a modern cargo terminal was constructed in 2002 the input channel. Width of 150 m. Was modernized. In 2003 the terminal for service of cruise vessels opened. 2008 became landmark in development of port. For the first time for years of existence the port processed 30 million tons of freights and came out on this indicator on top among the ports of the Baltic states. Then spills Riga, Tallinn. However, the next year there was a reduction of freight traffic in view of the begun economic crisis. Education The main higher educational institution of Clay Peda is the university founded in 1991. Also the higher C school and the private Christian University XE, Department of Visual Art of the Vilnius Art Academy work. There is a conservatory of name C. Chimkusa. Besides, there are one state and also several private colleges. Transport. The part of a highway coincides with eastern administrative frontiers of the city and serves as the bypass road of Klaipeda. By well-developed network of highways, Clay Pedet is connected with the largest cities and the seaside resorts of Lithuania. In Clay Pedet, the European E85 and E272 highways and also the planned trans-European viaduct Carpathia and highway originate. Touch in my signal Autobahn. CV Highway passing from the southeast on the northwest of Lithuania connects Klaipeda with the largest cities of the country, Honas and Some pieces have the mold high-speed door Jespersway at CV The capital of Vilnius The Lithuanian main road A connects Klaipeda with the resort of Palango the international airport in Palanga and conducts to the Latvian seaport of Lipija. The road on which there runs the administrative border of the city serves as east bypass road of Klaipeda. At the same time a part has heard the standard high speed. In the future all piece to the bypass road of Palanga which is under construction since the end of 2013 will receive the status of the speedway. The Lithuanian road of 141 first categories connects Klaipeda with Shilut, Pajajim, Jabarkas and Konas and also conducts to Sovetsk. The part of the road between Klaipeda is planned and Shilut after reconstruction to adapt high speed for the standard. The Lithuanian Road 167 first categories passing across Kuronian Spit connects Klaipeda and its part on the Spit with Maritime Museum in Smilton, with resorts of self-government of Naringa. Yitkranti, Pravalka, Prela and Nida. 
In 2014, the Port Authority, Ministeria, Self Management of Klaipeda and Naringa bring a pay question of construction of the bridge through the Kironian Bay 1300 M Long, which would connect Port Klaipeda and Kironian Spit. For improvement of the message to Resort Naringa. In Klaipeda, there is the largest intersection of Lithuania, E Ring of Yake. L. The intersection is a part of the main road Vilnius, Konas, Klaipeda, connects five roads. Konas, Klaipeda, Klaipeda, Lipija, Konas, Jerbarkas, Klaipeda, Yake, Davalaya and also the Klaipeda Till Street. Because of big traffic congestion intensity of the movement at the intersection Yake, about 25,000 cars within a day. During the ice stage. 2008 December 2010 Reconstruction of the ring intersection Yake in Klaipeda the longest four-band platform 610 meters In Lithuania which received the highest award at the competition product of year minus 2010 a gold medal was constructed Platform width from 20 to 30.5 meters a design of overlapping of a platform, the integral and monolithic reinforced concrete hollow overlapping reinforced by not intense fittings and established on support. Overlapping of a platform was established in several stages as there is no technology solution allowing to pull a cable from 22 round 610 meters long. Specially manufactured modern equipment was used to a tension. during the two-stage of reconstruction of the ring intersection Yake. December 2010, December 2012 The platform in the corners, Palanga direction 317 meters long and a platform in the Palanga, corners direction 552 meters long is constructed. Both platforms have two lanes in each direction. The intersection Yake became three level. In 1872 construction of the state railroad between Tilsit and Klaipeda which connected two cities in 1875 was begun. Klaipeda became a part of East Railroad. Ostban. In 1892 from Klaipeda Road it was prolonged up to the station Beire on border with the Russian Empire, but because of protectionism of the Russian authorities it wasn't prolonged for the territory of the Khanas province. Only during Povo Miravoyevoyny Road it was prolonged through squadras up to Priakul. In 1924-1932 the Lithuanian government built the section of the road from Kratingi to the station Kaze. Near Sialie. The Sklaipeda connected the railroad to corners that stimulated growth of transportations and development of port. Railway passenger traffic is carried out plying five, six times a day by the Klaipeda, Vilnius Express passing through Kretingu, Plunge, Talsie, Sialie, Radvilicius, Kidanie, Yonava and Kashidoris. Length of all route is 376 km and is overcome for 439, 449 hours. The message between Klaipeda and Radvilicius is twice a day carried up. Through Sialie. Passenger train traffic between Klaipeda and Shalut is carried out daily. Four flights from Klaipeda to Shalut and four from Shalut to Klaipeda. The first airfield was equipped in the city before World War I near the estates in Veris. After war the airfield was closed. For a new airfield in 1922 the estate Rumpischs with the former farmlands was bought. 
Since 1922, air traffic along a route Danzig, Konigsberg, Klaipeda, Riga was adjusted. Since 1923, planes Jankers served the new Konigsberg, Klaipeda, Riga line, Tallinn, and since 1924, the Berlin, Klaipeda, Connors line worked. After World War II, Klaipeda and region is served by the Palanga International Airport. Since 1937, which is in 32, came from the city and carrying out regular air traffic with Copenhagen, Oslo, Riga, London. Air traffic with Russia, Poland, and Belarus is carried out during the summer period. Since 2014, the International Airport Palanga is branch of the state enterprise, Lithuanian Airports. The international ferry lines connect Klaipeda with the German Kiel and the Swedish Karlsson. In 2014, the operator of services Gdeds Seaways and the port of Klaipeda conducted negotiations with representatives of these ports for the organization of lines in Malmo and Copenhagen. In 2012 and 2013, card and card passengers were transported respectively. The Klaipeda Terminal of Cruise Vessels, the terminal in the Klaipeda port which began the activity in 2003. Operator of the Terminal of Chest Klaipeda's Levu Remontis. The terminal occupies the territory in 1.2 hectares and is in only 100 m from the lock of the city and in 300 m from the central square of the old city in the terminal near embankments. It houses 2833. Vessels up to 315 meters long, up to 45 meters wide and the draft of vessel up to 8.6 meters can be moored. In the terminal all tourist infrastructure is created. Info center hotels, restaurants, bars, taxi services. Two ferries affect Curonian Spit. The old ferry is intended for passengers, generally for Playa Asnik and visitors of Maritime Museum of Lithuania and a Dolphinarium, is in the mouth of the River Dang. In 2013 the crossing was decorated by the modern terminal with waiting rooms, restaurant. The new crossing is in the southern part of the city and is intended for cars. From bus station of Klaipeda bus routes to many cities of Lithuania, to Riga and the Riga airport begin. Each 20 minutes ply share taxis to Palanga and the Palanga International Airport. Share taxis in the Vilnius and Kaunas airports ply from shopping center Acropolis. The new bus station is built on the basis of public-private partnership and belongs to the Klaipeda bus fleet. In 1875, construction of the industrial railroad to the port of the city is begun. It connected Memel and Tilsa the railroad. In 1876, the industrial branch to the winter port is open. In 1878, the railroad is prolonged up to the southern ballast square. After World War I, this inconvenient branch coinciding with several city streets of the quarter of Vite Bermelia and crossing some of them was liquidated. The new branch which is bending around city quarters to the north of houses is constructed. Except the State Industrial Railroad, in 1919-1929 the branches of the Municipal Industrial Railroad which connected port, the industrial enterprises of the quarter of smelt, cellulose factory and new shipbuilding plant are constructed. Paul Lindner By 1929 length of the Municipal Industrial Railroads reached 20 came. The Melsky narrow gauge roads. 
Three lines are opened on October 22, 1906 by Society of the Mimelsky City Railroads. Educated on August 18, 1904. The first branches went from Klaipeda to Pazahai. Then the 34.8 came. Davale and Logalai. Then the 4.6 came. From Kleming Finplikye. Then the 34.8 came. And also through Klaipeda on Smelta. The narrow gauge railroad was used both for transportation of goods and for passenger traffic. In 1909, on the tests of the automatic coupling of Scharfenberger carried up. It was the first test of the automatic coupling of Scharfenberg in actual practice of operation. The station of narrow gauge roads at the beginning of the 20th century and the electric locomotive serving tramways of the city. During World War I, narrow gauge lines to city gas factory and a slaughterhouse were laid. In 1930, somebody Junus Kverblis saw to the site of Adaran Davile for the purpose of robbery of the mail car transporting money. In 1940, Adis transferred to society Statish Work Memel AD. Rolling stock. Five engines. Three CNT1, three Freudenstein 213, 215 slash 1905. Two CNT4, five ONK 2790, 3290 slash 1909. Eight cars, three post and luggage and 78 cargo. The electric locomotive shown in the picture was used for delivery of freights on city tramways. Since 2012, the 19 Amzius Bar restaurant works in the restored building of the station of the former Narrow Gauge Railroad. Near bus station of Klaipeda. Near restaurant, the Switchman sculpture created by the Klaipeda sculptor Claudius Budimas is open. The bronze sculpture represents a slim figure of the worker of the railroad of the 19th century of times of the German Empire in a uniform of the time holding a lamp. Address S. Nairai Street 16A The Klaipeda electric tram appeared at the time of the German Empire at the beginning of the 20th century and worked in 1904, 1934 and 1950, 1967. In the late 20s and the beginning of the 1930th it was the only city rail transport in pre-war independent Lithuania. After closing of the horse tram and the city narrow gauge passenger railroad in Kaunas. Only in the Soviet Lithuania and also the only electric tram ever operating in Lithuania. In the 1920th in Vilnius short time I acted petrol. Colloquial Pigatka. In Kaunas, the steam tram. Colloquial. Cuckoo. The tram served not only Klaipeda, but also suburbs. Tramways were also used for delivery of freights from the railway station and from port. The city authorities plan revival of the tram which will be again long distance in a format of modern high-speed easily rail transport. Like rail. Connecting Klaipeda and Shevantoy through Palanga and the airport. In the city bus traffic is well developed. His main coordinator is the Klaipeda Passenger Transport Public Institution. Letters of Klaipeda's Calavinus Transportus. The institution for performance of the functions employs carriers. 
enterprise of self-government, play pedibus fleet and private carriers. 41 bus routes and 4 microbus routes work. To the suburb 18 suburban routes follow. In public transport the rationing system of e-tickets. Most of which of citizens uses works. In buses tickets for journey are more expensive than in booths. And the more so in comparison with trip cost according to card e-tickets. In 2013 the city bought 12 new gas French buses, Urizbus, and in 2014, 12 new Spanish Caras Ericastrosua. 11 gas and 1 hybrid electric. Since 2019 in the city 2 in Clay Peta created Lithuanian electric dancer buses Pla. The plant on assembly of these buses is under construction and it is planned to increase number of this model on routes. At the moment in the territory of the city four chargings for electric vehicles are equipped. Two of them were equipped by municipality and two private firms. Operation of one charging for city authorities cost 600 euros. It is planned that until the end of 2020 in the territory of the city will be equipped 18 Zeriodok for electric vehicles. As an exception, electric vehicles in Clay Pedder can go on Tilto Street and also on the strip intended for public transport. In 2019 in the city there were 52 electric vehicles. In the city it is very convenient to move by bicycle. Within the last five years the municipality of Clay Pedder allocated many funds for laying of bicycle paths. During the summer period several rental centers of bicycles work. By bicycle it is possible to reach nearby resorts easily. Palanga and Nida Sites The city strongly was damaged during the Great Fire of 1854 in which 40% of his building, 256 houses died, the serving Herms as warehouses, the Leopard, three roofs, two Bretov, Great, Chaker, Karl, etc. Nowadays known only of engravings and drawings burned down city symbols. In total 83 warehouses burned down. And World War II together with the subsequent Sovietization of the city after which was all largest temples of the city, 60% of ancient ordinary buildings some interesting industrial buildings, the main symbols of the city in architectural sense are lost. Old St. Petersburg Stock Exchange One of the first in Europe the fire station. So, in war the so-called House of the Elephant, an ancient Fipropovi warehouse near Lyotovnink Square which was together with the Rodi Standing Palace of the Dealer of Wood and the Privy Trade Council of Hermann Gerlich, one of symbols of the city died and at the beginning of the 20th century it is entered in lists of architectural city monuments. Its sad fate comprehended also the old St. Petersburg Stock Exchange which was standing still near Bershi Bridge of the present square of Adjamimo. Renaissance Known since the 17th century, old St. Petersburg Stock Exchange, together with the halls of meetings, the printing house and the bookstore and the reader's hall, shopping center, hotel and rooms, oldest in the city, for religious practices of the Protestant communities of the city, long time was one of the major cultural, financial and political downtowns and his symbol, and his tower served as one of dominance of the city. At present among the public of the city, politicians, historians, architects, businessmen the discussion about possible restoration of a part or everything the quarter lost during World War II together with old St. Petersburg stock exchanges conducted. Johann's Temple 
standing in Memel, was known since 1258. Together with Street Mary and Street Michael's temples, the temple a set of times collapsed, burned and changed the place. It is supposed that the Lutheran temple of Johann after the Reformation already stood on East Sharp end of the island of the old city, but I burned down in 1540. The built-up temple was called in honor of Street John in 1630 was reconstructed, and after the fire in 1678 was restored. In 1696-1706 the Trionefni Temple of Johann with the octagonal star arches was built up by the engineer Schenwald. German of Schoenwald. At the end of Reinicknea Street. This construction had length of 37m, width of 22m and a tower 50m high. In 1790 the building was under repair and his tower is raised to height of 61 m with the survey balcony used by fire, English hours, a gilded weather vane in the form of the sailing vessel gained moderate lines of baroque. In an interior the gilded altar presented by one Zimati Grandi over whom the fundator coat of arms, the golden lion hung dominated. In the temple there was also a portrait of the native of Klaipeda, the historian Mathis Pretorius. In 1823 the weather vane is replaced with a black eagle with a gilded cross. The temple was damaged during the Great Fire. 1854 Of the city and using old walls under personal supervision and taking into account comments of the King Friedrich Wilhelm IV, the famous architect Friedrich Stuhler designed the new temple, is built in 1856-1858. The building gained lines of a Gothic style. Nassif top octagonal, irregular shape, a part, is raised to 75 m, became the main accent of all city. The lasters of the old building were decorated with pinnacles, were designed by the decree of the king inside facades on five pediments. Over an entrance the ceramic portrait of Simon Dutch is attached. Several pictures for an interior of the temple were presented by the King Friedrich Wilhelm IV. At the end of World War II the temple burned down and was demolished after her termination. There is a fund of restoration of the temple, active discussions on complete recovery in the near future, between the public, politicians, community of Lutherans are conducted. Two historical parts of the city are of interest. The old city on south side of the river Dang, together with Friedrichsit, and the new city. The old city is an urbanistics monument because of regular network of streets in the northern part created here in the 13th, 15th centuries. Reminds a chessboard, and more free southern former suburb of Friedrich. The old city occupies 92.7 hectares. In this territory the state protects the 34th certain buildings and 19 more complexes of buildings. On the right riverbank down the state protects the historical part of the city called by the new city. In this territory of 203.5 hectares in size, 47 monuments of architecture and 10 more architectural complexes of buildings are placed. Also the historical network of streets of the new city, an urbanistic complex, with peculiar structure and his historical character is protected. Except these two territories, separate sites as the former estates, seaside country houses, interwork waters, historical industrial complexes, meet in all territory of continental Klaipeda, and on a part of Klaipeda on Kironian Spit. In the historic center of the city also modern sites, such as sculpture the magic little mass of 2006 of installation meet. 
the remains of a fort of the 19th century on Curonian Spit, the remains of the lock of the 15, 19th centuries of construction in the old city and also several castle bastions reached our days. Quarters of stone and Fakverkavi warehouses, the oldest of which treat the 18th century, are characteristic of the city. The most interesting samples of Fakverkavi buildings in the old city is a five-floor immense roof warehouse of the second half of the 18th century more than 15 m high on street. Oxtoji 3 Oksha Also be near, in the yard, the being one-story Fakverkavi warehouse and a two-story Fakverkavi and Adnaskatni roof, Oxtoji 3A and Oxtoji 3B Street. Warehouse Entrance three-story Fakverkavi warehouses of the 18th century with Adnaskatni, curved. Feature of clay pedda. A roof in the yard on street. Darzu 10 and a three-storied Fikvarkavi warehouse, Priblikirvani to him, a Dvakskatni roof and the put-out top part, street. Pagentinu 7 Now buildings are used as the center of an art and craft of Menokimus. A number of Fikvarkavi warehouses 18 and 19 of centuries are also on street. Darzu 1 Street Vase G4 The complex of four former Fikverkavi warehouses of the 19th century belonging to the dealer F.H. Lepet who was used for storage and trade in various household items is in the Friedrichsky Passage Street. Till to 26 and 26A To till 26 Fakvark was used also in the 20th century. Near the river Dang following on a bicycle track in a botanical garden of clay pedda, up to now are remained the complex of Fakvarkavi warehouses of the former factory of the Union Fertilizers. Constructed in 1913 and 1928. Closer to port other complex of warehouses of the 19th century belonging to the son of the merchant Carl Emanuel Wolf. A Krasna Kirpichny two-storied warehouse and nearby the Bean Fikverkovi two-storied a brick Sokol warehouse belonging to Samuel Schultz Michelson remained. Aviju 8A and 8B Street In the old city on Kepu Street 17 There is also a number of stone warehouses. Two-storied with a penthouse stone the warehouse of the beginning of the 18th century in the middle of the 18th century belonging to Christian Feingolzer. And at the beginning of the 20th century, the Berlowitzer Olorado Company trading in tobacco. Row. Kepu 3 and Kepu 11A Street. Stone warehouses of the middle of the 19th century with mansard parts of Afikverkavi design. Near the River Danyan 1860-1871 two new Gothic elements warehouses are constructed. The three-storied warehouse. In post-war time the third floor is sorted. Germania Spiker. Where before war grain of one agricultural firm and a two-storied warehouse. Bange Spiker which before war was used as a herring warehouse was stored, and is occupied now with Memelis Restaurant Bar. Street of Eju 4 and 4A Except warehouses, Fikverkovi construction before the ban after the Great Fire. Seaside country houses and mansions in the Swiss style of Fikverka used elements further. Was sometimes used also in housing construction. The most interesting sample, the Jonas Master Gottlieb Dietz. In the 18th century constructed smart, a difficult configuration, the palace on street. Circulelli 19. 
In the first half of the 19th century, the building belonged to glassmasters. On street. Did the OG Vandens 5. There is one more house of the 18th century with a high fireplace where houses of Afik Verkavi design. On street. Vasnasi 3 and 4 there is one story with a penthouse, a house of the 18th century and near in the being shaped building which in the 18th century was used as a potter's workshop. On street. Scope the Duke 12 and Bruises 2 there is a complex of buildings of the 18th century consisting of Fikverkavi and stone buildings with the yard which was used for market service. Sikverkavi seaside country houses of the end of 19, the beginning of the 20th century. Meat lines and coastal areas of the city, Chirolier, Smilton. Street. Slato 12. 1863. Street. Smiltines 10. 1920 and Street. Smiltines 11, 1910. Street. Smiltines 17, 1901. Play better. Street. Smiltines 22, 1910. Certain Fikverkavi buildings are buildings a Fikverka meet elements in the new city, a port zone, industrial zones, etc. Places of Clay Pedder On Piozzi Street In the new city where in the 18, 19th centuries the long market of handicraftsmen was arranged, there is an authentic classical palace belonging to the Dutch merchant of Memel of the 19th century Antony Geert Overlander, which surname meets in the city map made in 1840. This merchant who was one of the richest citizens of Memel. For 1855 it is specified in the list of taxes of magistrate that Ophelander pays an annual tax at a rate of 3,500 thalers. Together with Arnold Carl Schoen. Was a co-owner of the Sudakadi company in which including were available in the clay Peda ship building company by Karenda Pipera. They constructed Mirhi and Othello Barks. Uferlender was also a co-owner of the Satisfaction Bark. This Dutch merchant was also a co-owner of one of the largest trading houses of Memel who traded in expensive goods from England. In men's and women's clothing, expensive fabrics for dresses, headdresses, saddles, bridles, weapon. There are also magistrate buildings. The 1778 years. Theater. The 1878 years. And post office in style, a neo-gothic style. 1904. In old clay pedda there are several tens of constructions in style. It is a lot of eclectic buildings. In Castleport, on the way to the cruise terminal, there is unique Povarotny Bridge, the only mechanism of this kind in the Baltic countries. The Iron Rotary Bridge is built in 1855 through Dassel's ditch between a castle pond and the river Dang. This unique technical device from shot iron turns manually. Construction of this chain bridge from riveted steel was financed by the rich merchant renting the warehouses which are nearby for convenience of transportation of freights. The bridge is used as pedestrian. On the established schedule, several times a day, special devices the employees who are looking after the bridge connect to coast, and after a while turn the bridge for start of yachts in the castle pond, arranging those representation for tourists and citizens. 
observation decks of clay peta. Maria Saritsi's Church of the World. Having risen by height 46.5 meter towers of church, you will be able to enjoy panoramic views of the city. The ticket price for adults 3 lighters, for children minus 2 lighters. The address Rumpisks G. 6. Restaurant is 12th restaurant on the 12th floor of hotel with a panorama 360 and a glass toilet hanging outside. The address Nujoyo Soda G. 1. 9 professional and amateur theatres work in the city. Musical, drama, castle and more than 10 showrooms and galleries are opened, there are 9 choruses, 11 orchestras, 47 musical ensembles, jazz club, a number of the cultural centers and studios. In Claypeda the museums which it is possible to call unique, maritime museum and a show of dolphins, the museum of ours and the museum of blacksmithing, art gallery are located. Tell expositions in the Historical Museum of Small Lithuania and the Klaipeda Castle about parapetias of history. At numerous restaurants and cafe of the city it is possible to try traditional dishes of the Lithuanian and European cuisine and also a grade of local beer. Museums the Lithuanian Maritime Museum is located in Old Fortress Kokpolis and differs in the complex exposition in which the sea nature, the history of navigation, ancient and modern fishery, marine sciences are presented and also it is told about control over environmental pollution and a wide, multilateral range of relationship of the person and the sea. The museum exists nearly 20 years. The museum differs in this diversity from most specialized maritime museums of the countries neighboring to Lithuania. Other distinctive feature of maritime museum is the set of exhibits. The first that draws attention of visitors is live exhibits. Fishes, marine mammals, birds. The rich collections of corals and sinks which are numbering about, units and having high scientific value. Though someone are interested in the ships can see models of the ships of different time, and the exposition will acquaint you with the real vessels and various designs of anchors in the open air. The museum is surrounded by the sea, the fine nature and unique, purest air of Curonian spit. The ethnographic lodge of the fishermen on the bank of the Curonian Bay narrates about life in the fishing village of the end of 19, the beginnings of the 20th century. Near the museum, the vessel constructed by the clay peda fisherman Gintaras Paulianus, 1945-1994, is exposed. Without being a professional seaman, but being the real fanatical fan of the sea, he independently constructed it on the basis of ancient drawings of the Nyafondlenski ships. On June 28, 1994 he went from Klaipeda and hoped to become the first Lithuanian who crossed the Baltic Sea by the ancient ship and on July 14 he reached the coast of Sweden then, proud of a victory, soon I went back in the same way. Nevertheless, on October 5, 1994, remains of his small, small boat were cast ashore Nida. The body of the brave person was found ten days later. It is considered that his death was caused by a storm which claimed also the lives of more than 800 passengers of the Estonia ferry. Museum Aquarium Constructed in the building of an old fort, the aquarium is the house for penguins, sea lions and cats. Here it is possible to look at water shows with participation of the black sea dolphins and sea lions. Now in an aquarium it is possible to see not only freshwater fishes and fishes of the Baltic Sea, 
but also such rare animals as grey seals. Specialists of the museum aquarium dissolve them many years that then to release to their native marine environment. There are exotic penguins from the far south and unprecedented fishes of coral reefs who can be met seldom even in the tropical seas. In the summer on the platform behind the museum there take place cheerful performances of seals of the North Sea. The Dolphinarium attracts deserved interest not only of residents of Lithuania, but also of the population of all Baltic region. Adults and children can learn a lot of new about dolphins of the Black Sea, having looked at a theatrical performance with their participation. A couple of Californian seals who are grown up in a zoo in Duisburg, Germany, also participate in representation. Other, not less interesting aspect of activity of the museum, dolphin therapy for disabled children. Museum of Ours It is open in 1984, located in the beautiful mansion of the 19th century. The building is built as the country residence by the richest citizen of the Scottish origin, Johan Simpson. At the beginning of the 19th century, Later the palace belonged to family of Scots of Muttry, to the dealer and the mayor Wilhelm, and after his death to the doctor of medical sciences Johann Augustus. After 1913 the building belonged to the banker Johann Gertberger, during whose government the building also gained the present shape. During the last reconstruction the facade of the building was decorated for by the colons and two classical sculptures symbolizing trade and craft. In the museum it is possible to get acquainted with the most various devices by means of which the person tried to measure time during different historical eras. In the museum also our glasses are presented solar, star, fiery, water. There is a unique collection of the mechanical clock of the 16th-19th centuries. There are in the museum and modern hours, electromechanical, electromagnetic, electronic and quartz and also a collection of ancient lunar and lunisolar calendars. Under all exhibits additional information, an engraving, the chart and explanatory texts. The courtyard of the museum is very beautiful, in the summer in it is possible to see the flower clock, he is used for various city actions and also for listening of concerts of the clay pedicarol on which is zero. The address, Lipu Street. 12. Pranasadam Shatisa Art Gallery. It is open on June 1, 1973. It is located in a historical part of Klaipeda, on one of the most beautiful city streets, occupies a complex of buildings of the 19th-20th centuries. In an exposition of gallery, painting of Western Europe, Lithuania, Latvia, Russia, a sculpture graphics. Since 2001 the constant exposition. About 600 works of the Lithuanian artist expressionist of the European scale Pranas Damshe, 1880-1965, and the cultural center of his name where various actions will regularly be organized works. The address, Lipu Street, 3135, Museum of Blacksmithing. It is open to city anniversary in 1992. An exposition of the museum of the openwork crosses, fencings, gate characteristic of small Lithuania, forge tools, shard house utensils.
A considerable part of an exposition makes the sepulchral crosses collected by the clay pattern restorer on Dionysum Varculus metal fencings, gate of small Lithuania and from old cemeteries and also characteristic only of the seaport old a weather vane. In the operating restored smithy it is possible to get original models of forge art. In the 19th century there was a smithy of the master, known on all clay pedder region, Gustav Kast here. The address Salt Colby V. 2. Museum of History of Small Lithuania. The museum is located in one of the oldest buildings of the city of Fredericia, in the old city, on the street which until the end of the 17th century was the bed of the river, one of sleeves of the delta of the river Dine, finally filled up administratively having connected Fredericksit and the old city in 1722. Reminds the name of the street of it. The building wasn't once reconstructed, the present shape, magnificent furniture in Baroque style with a broken mansard roof and intricate volutes of window frames, got after reorganization of 1773-1774 when the palace belonged to the director of office of the Russian Imperial Post, Johann Ristianwit. Later the land plot with the city palace adjoining to Funk's Possessia. And the smithy belonged to Berger. In 1858-1866 was possession of the master in production of horse saddles Blessner. In 1898-1909 property of family of the dealer Schles. And from 1926 to 1939 belonged Rachel Katzenelbegen. Under the building there are deep cellars and semi-basements of the 17th century, demonstrate that initially the building was adapted for trade. The exposition acquaints with life of Lituvenite, with history of the German-Lithuanian relationship, in her you will see archaeological finds, a numismatics collection. In the territory of Klaipeda and Edge at archaeological excavations the Roman coins, medieval coins of the countries of Europe are found. Old cards, cards, letters, photos, envelopes. In the museum there is an interesting and rich iconography of East Prussia and the Klaipeda region. The address did G. 6. Museum of the Clay Peda Castle. Archaeological excavations on the place of the Clay Peda Castle began in 1968. In Soviet period the lock was inaccessible for general public as in his territory the ship repair plant was located. Today the lock becomes the place of an attraction of tourists more and more that is promoted by an interesting exposition of the museum. On an entrance to the sculpture park there is a memorial inscription. Red terror destroyed not only living, but also the dead, and it wasn't stopped at the Klaipeda cemetery. She points that till 1977 there was here a cemetery where buried Germans and Memelander. Graves raised to the ground according to the instruction of the authorities. Up to now several gravestones in a northeast corner of the cemetery remained. Most years to the citizens not indifferent to the history of the city, it was succeeded to take out from the destroyed cemetery and to keep unique iron crosses which after restoration of independence of Lithuania became a basis of an exposition of the Museum of Ford Products founded in 1992. Salt Kovi G Street to sport. In the city the football club, Atlantis, men's basketball club, Neptunas, men's basketball club, Klaipedos Nafta, Universitetis, women's basketball club, Fortuna, handball club, Dragonas are based. 
Children's School of Single Combats Avant-Garde. Also in the city there is a rock climbing club, Scholar Dream. Two children's basketball schools work. Heads and Mayors. 1990-1992 Povilus Vasilioskos. 1992-1994 Benedictus Petrescus. 1994-1995 Yerjus Oshra. 1995-1997 Silvius Shukis. 1997-2000-2001 Centvilus Eugenius. 2001-2003-2003-2007-2007-2011 Romantis Tarashkevicius. 2011-2015-2015-2019-2019 Till present Vitotus Groblioskus. Local Traditions in the last days off of July, Klaipeda becomes very noisy city. Many people walk on streets and theatrical performances are held. It begins a cheerful holiday of the sea which annually, since 1934, is spent in Klaipeda in the last days off of July. Sometimes the holiday of the sea is celebrated on August 1 and coincides happy birthday the city since 1252. The main hero of a holiday is the Neptune who floats by the old ship down the river to Dana. These days many cultural actions, exhibitions, concerts and also a yachts race and a competition of fishermen are held. Memory of the seamen who died in the sea is esteemed. In 2014 the holiday brought together more than one million participants. The sailing regatta of Baltic sails is carried out to the same time. Posijos Pavaceris. Poetic Spring. The international action in which poets from the different countries participate. Klaipeda Musical Spring. The oldest musical festival in Lithuania. Jazz Festival of the Klaipeda Castle. Impressive, colorful, unforgettable event which takes place in the lock and the old city at the beginning of June and brings together about 20,000 viewers. Harbe Klevelis. The international folklore festival passing every second year in June or July, an important event in life sap. Lithuania. The main actions take place on water. Musical August by the Sea. The International Festival of Opera and Classical Music. July, August. Sir Maxness. Nantanash. The International Festival of Theatres, the organizer, the Claypeda Theatre, Peelis. Castle. Hope Run. Viltis Begimis. It will be organized. Since 2008. For the Trinity holiday, aims at support having oncological diseases. Participants compete at three distances, 2.9 km, 5.6 km, 10 km. Since 2013 cyclists also participate in a run. Since 2016 the program of a run included a semi-marathon. Interesting facts. In Klaipeda films were shot. The Last Inch. Then film, 1958. O Royal Host. The Belarusian Television, 1971. Dear Boer. No Silm, 1973. Drop in the Ocean. A film studio of M. Gorky, 1973. Gifts by Phone. The Riga Film Studio, 1977. The Shining World. No Silm, 1984. 
the file of the person in Mercedes. A film studio of M. Gorky, 1986. The last report. The Riga Film Studio, 1986. Love, a deadly game. Arcady, the Odessa Film Video Studio, 1991. The Trans-Siberian Express, 2008. Historical clay Peta was famous for the bad reputation. Offended by Werner von Orsalen. The great master of the Teutonic Order, the knight from Amelia Johann von Endorf. On November 18, 1330 in Marienburg, incited by a devil and all not righteousness, kills the last. During race for power Friedrich Wilhelm I. The elector of Brandenburg. Imprisoned the main opponent and the critic Christian of Ludovic von Kalkstein Stalinsky. Planning a revolution into custody and appointed life imprisonment. Later Kalkstein was pardoned and imprisoned under house arrest in the estate. But Kalkstein ran from the estate and the country soon and went to Warsaw with intention to convince the governor of Poland and Lithuania and to excite a rebellion against Friedrich Wilhelm. When Mikhail Korobat Vishnevetsky refused to give Kalkstein to Friedrich, that using the diplomat in Varshav von Brandt. At the end of 1670 kidnapped Kalkstein and, wrapped in a carpet, brought to Friedrich. As the place of tortures and Kalkstein's tortures, Friedrich Wilhelm I chose Memel. In January 1672, the main enemy of Friedrich Wilhelm I was sentenced to death. Public execution of Kalkstein took place on November 8, 1672 on City Gallows, in the area known as the Swamp of Gallows. Later the estate spike you. At the intersection of present city streets Minios, A. And Namuno. In the 16th century in the city the shipbuilding was developed, shipyards worked. The first mention of shipbuilding meets in 1517, but names of shipbuilders aren't known. In 1541 the shipbuilder Dutch January Jacobson lodged in the city. Since 1566 he became the most important shipbuilder of vessels for Albrecht Brandenburg and Zbocki. The Duke of Prussia. The first news of the concrete constructed vessel in Klaipeda belonged to 1560. This sea vessel in 1562 delivered Lisbon to the capital of Portugal. It is known that sea merchant ships in the 16th century in Klaipeda built master's colonnettes, and a part of carpenters was from Hamburg. In Mamel's taverns the Tsar of Russia Piatai who went for studying of shipbuilding and navigation to Western Europe stopped. In 1712, returning from Konigsberg to Peter I, being late, to one of the Klaipeda hotels there arrived only his wife Catherine I who all night long couldn't fall asleep because of noise and smoke of tobacco. Catherine I complained of it to the commandant of the city, and the owner of a tavern was taken into custody, but the next morning, on the arrival of the Tsar who personally knew the owner of tavern and was his longtime good friend, the owner was released. In 1827 all brothels of Memel were transferred to the quarter of Vite. On the right side of the river Dang. In 1830 in this part of the city eight brothels where clients were served by 78 maidens worked. In the 19th century seamen of Amsterdam had a saying. If you want to spoil the sun, send him to Memel.
in 1802 and played better there arrived the Emperor of Russia Alexander I who in the small suburban palace in a northern part of the city was met by Friedrich Wilhelm III with the wife Queen Louise. In the same year in the city in honor of the Emperor there was Alexander Street and the northern part of the city where there took place the meeting is called the Royal Wood. This part of the city is a sign of perpetuating of this historically important event, was announced by a park zone where gardens and places for walks of citizens are created. The area is surrounded with oaks, lindens, plane trees, white pines, chestnuts. Appointment of the Emperor Alexander I with the King and the Queen Prussian in Memel in 1802. In 1807-1808 the capital of the Prussian Kingdom was transferred to Klaipeda, the Prussian King Friedrich Wilhelm III with family located here. Exactly here in 1807 he signed and announced the decree on cancellation of the serfdom in Prussia. The daughter of the King Friedrich Wilhelm III and the Queen Louise, the Princess of Charlotte, in 1817 married the Russian of Crown Prince Nicholas Pavlovich, future Russian Emperor Nicholas I and subsequently became the Russian Empress Alexandra Fyodorovna. In the 19th century Klaipeda was famous as the city of gardeners, florists and philanthropists. Under the influence of England and the English-Scottish community of the city, at palaces of the city extensive English gardens were laid up. In 1862 in the city there were five professional gardeners florists, and in 1890 already ten gardeners florists, five of their assistants and four pupils. In 1843 in the city the Association of Gardeners. Partner Vereen which was engaged in promoting of gardening, floristics is formed, cared for supervision of city parks and squares and creation of new green places of the city, organized exhibitions of fruit and flowers. In 1859, the association acquired the rights of corporation. In the city worked also several private flower and gardening firms which had greenhouses and plantations, flower bases in suburbs of Claypeda. Since the 18th century also suburban dunes in seaside areas of Claypeda were planted trees and shrubs. Melnridge, Girolier. Avanduna were created and became stronger. Since 1805 in Memel Carl Gainrick Fake. Bequeathing to the city a large bag of money was engaged in gardening of dunes and creation. 300000 of the tailors were transferred to his personalized fund which was used for needs of the city, and a part him intended for the help to the poor, orphans and widows. In the middle of the 19th century at the expense of the wholesale merchant Flowers Seeds and the patron Julius Ludwig Weiner, left all the property to the city and the poor from Libava Square. Lyotavnik. To the estate Torolakis is equipped and surrounded with a testament 5 km winer's promenade. In a northern part of the city in the 19th century the park is landed. The will Julius Ludwig Weiner appointed 10000 thalers to the fund for support of the studying artists and technicians. Four grants on 360 brands a year. 302,789 more thalers were appointed for different initiatives of development of education to the charitable organizations. 100 thalers were appointed to free feeding hundreds of poor people of everyone on April 1, on a birthday of Wina. In Claypada, the revived charity foundation of Julius Ludwig Weiner still works. In 1836, in the building of the Clay Pedder Theatre, the whole season was worked the conductor by the famous German composer Richard Wagner. 
In the second half of the 18th century, in the old city the first fire station of the city is built. In 1807 the fire station in the new city, in 1828 about the market of the old city is built. In 1818 the Volunteer Society of Fire Prevention Protection in which there were 70 dicks, generally merchants is founded. In 1844 society is reorganized into the Voluntary Union. The member of this union of Frobin and the member of A. Strauss Magistrate after the Great Fire, 1854. Having got acquainted with the organization of fire protection in Danzig, Hamburg and Berlin, in 1855 addressed to Magistrate with the offer to create the professional fire station. In September, 1855 in the new city building of the fire station began, and in May, 1856 Kleipeda became the second city in Germany after Berlin with constant staff of a professional fire brigade. After the Great Fire 1854 In the city construction of wooden houses was forbidden, construction of Fukvakavi buildings is most limited, the obligatory height of premises not less than 2.8 m and uninhabited not less than 2.5 m is established. Memel was mentioned in the German anthem of times of the Third Reich as the most east city of Germany. Von der Maas bis und die Memel. Klaipeda was the only city of the Soviet Union which had about 20 Fukvakavi buildings. Thanks to perfectly organized system of trade, Klaipeda was called the city without turns. Streets of Klaipeda bear romantic names. As in novels by Alexander Green. Fasil Dor, Bastronea, Market, Anchor, Port, Postal, Nea, Ambassadorial, Big Water, Hyde, Murin, Amber, Lilinaya, Pigeon, Bakers, Shoemakers, Fishermen, Pottery, Corabelny Lane, Vaughan Street, Storms, Seals, Stone Gate, The Distant Bastion. Bridges of the old city are called Pilais. Tassel, the historical name Corolio, Corolio, that is Carla, Carla Bridge and Burhos Exchange The Claypeda Dramatic Theatre became the first theatre which put in 1966 the play by Alexander Vampilov, Farewell in June. In December of the same year the author gave an interview to the local newspaper The Soviet Claypeda, which became his only lifetime interview. as well as Friedrichsit in Berlin, and the Klaipeda quarter of the same name in the southern part of the old city, received the name in honor of the Prussian king Frederick I. The well-known Friedrichsky Passage still bears a name of the king who named quarter. In Klaipeda there is an analogue of the Berlin unto den Linden Street, Lip Street. Called so because on her long since there was a Lime Avenue. At various times it was called Alexandris. In honor of the Russian Emperor Alexander I. President Smyatona Avenue, Adolf Hitler Strasse and M. Porkogo Street. In Klaipeda, one of the largest in Europe geothermal power plant acts. Design capacity minus 41 mu. In 1989 in the area of Vidmantania Palanga, the first geothermal wells, more than two came in depth are punched. Wells are tested in 1993-1994, temperature of geothermal water was 74 C. The Klaipeda Geothermal Station in the southern district of the city of Klaipeda was built in 2000 and cost 19.5 million US. Four wells, each 1100 m in depth, were drilled. 
temperature of geothermal water is plus 38 C there. Power of the station minus 41 Mm. That it is enough for providing inhabitants in summertime with warm water and for heating of a third of apartments in wintertime. From them 18 Mm, geothermal energy, and 23 Mm develop free coppers. The direct distance between Klaipeda and the capital of Vilnius makes 286 km, and between Klaipeda and the Swedish city of Visby minus 280 km. All so far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.